Hey gang, this is Donna Lay, and I've had many people ask me how I do readings. So I'm going to show you how I read tarot, and you may be surprised, all these cards really come down to just uh, a couple brief sentences. So I'm going to take a little longer in explaining it to you, but this whole thing can be explained to someone in literally like three minutes. Uh, but I'm going to stretch it out so you know what I'm doing. And it's a lot like a Lenormand reading. I was doing this long before I ever even heard the word Lenormand, but you'll see how these techniques can cross bridges and uh, incorporate into each other. So let's go. Now I've been criticized for years for using too many cards in my spreads, but I like the way the cards interact with each other. And I'm gonna show you why and how this gives you more detail and how you can try something like this in your favorite spreads. My favorite, my signature spread is four cards. And the positions are, this is the situation, this is the person's challenge or roadblock or what they need to focus on, the trouble, this is the advice, this is the outcome. Now I've never found this to be entirely accurate, especially this right here, because I didn't always understand the advice as a, and what we're seeing in the outcome. When I added layers, I started to see more and understood, and I could explain very clearly to the client what was happening. So let's read this verse as if it were just a four card spread, as most people would do. So this is the Gilded Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti, a beautiful deck, and this is what I have. So for the situation, we have the Nine of Cups, so this is the wish come true. And so this is a person that's either working towards something that they want to come true, or they have something that's just happened and they're very excited about it. Uh, but this, is, this client is dealing with something very happy, very happy goal. As it's a nine, it's also the completion of something, trying to do something. The challenge for this person is the hermit. That can mean solitude, it can mean focus, having that lantern focus on something, the esoteric kind of knowledge, uh, or just understanding a situation. So their challenge in achieving this may be focus. The advice to this person is to really, uh, this is the Four of Swords, so this is about meditation, really stopping and smelling the flowers, looking at what's around you. This is not about rushing. This is really uh, taking the time to really uh, sit and dwell. And the outcome, surprising, it's the Three of Swords. Now, nobody really wants that for their outcome because that is the heartbreak card. Something hurts, makes us sad. It's not as we expected. So if you're starting out with this, ta-da, your wish come true, how is it that it advises this and we end up with this? Is it something over which we had no control? Uh, are we going to change what we're doing and not get this by doing this? Um, let's more. find out a little bit. So what I do in my readings, and here I have it all set up for you. These were all drawn randomly to try and help you see uh, what my readings are like. The cards that are all here, I have two decks. So I still have the Gilded Royale, as well as the Illuminated Tarot, Illuminated Tarot by Carol Hartzer. I do read reversals, so I'm gonna include those, but let me show you now what I do is, now the entire left column is the situation. So this is really one position that's populated by four different cards. This whole column is the person's challenge or what they need to really think about doing that's not happening enough. This is what's causing this problem. entire column could be preventing them from getting what they need, which could be resulting in this. So this challenge column is something really important to look at. This is all our advice. This is all our outcome. Now this looks like a very long spread. It's not. What I do is I start combining cards that are close together have always been very significant. Now my rule has always been the first card down is the most important. All the other cards lead back up to that with threads. So this card is talking about what we're trying to achieve here. All these have to do with what we're trying to achieve here. These cards modify this card right here. So this is kind of our big noun, our context. And all these are talking about what's happening with this and these are talking about what's going on or what to do about this. This is the result of this. So when you're reading the client and you have here, for example, the Six of Swords reverse, had it been upright, it means movement, moving on, doing things, but here we see it. Whatever it is they're wishing for is kind of stagnant and staying put. It's not going anywhere. 
and down and here. What's probably happening here? It's staying put. Why? Because perhaps it's fear of past problems, bruises, something's going on that's holding that person back because they might be a little, a uh, little trepidation about doing something because of past hurts. And this down here added with another deck just to show you you can combine decks or even oracles. These two cards, what is this resulting in? Well, you're holding yourself back and it's resulting and you're not very happy about it. You're not rejoicing or you're not getting out with the people that you need to and celebrating to do this. So while this looks like a very happy card, you can see with the stagnancy and the reluctancy and then not being happy, these define that and it becomes a lot clearer and the client will understand what you're talking about. So let's move over now to challenge. So remember, this challenge has to do with achieving this or getting out of this situation. So here we have focus, and here we have the two of swords, which had it been turned the other way, if I could turn it, is about boundaries, holding back, protecting yourself. But the challenge here is letting go of boundaries, not being so reluctant, opening up, taking a risk, being able to do something instead of blocking off. So this is what uh, the focus is. Also, the emperor. Now, challenge here. If this is a challenge, the emperor is about being organized and structured and doing things very orderly. If this, if there's no focus, this person isn't structuring their timing or doing what they need to. And uh, perhaps it is because they have a fear of doing something. Could also be that they're using their time too freely and not creating. Uh, the right boundaries around the things that they need to in order to structure time. And lastly, we have the Page of Pentacles. And this is about focus on money, new starts. And this very established emperor, next to this very new and young Page of Discs, these two together are related in many ways. This is the older and established and organized version. This is the young and carefree version, but he's still focusing. As a challenge, these aren't being manifested well. So he's not, this person is not in any way organizing what they're doing or focusing on the finances as well as they should. So it could be they don't have good managerial skills. It could be they don't have good uh, organizational skills and are using their time wisely. So decide. I don't usually combine these, this card with this card because they're about different things, situation and challenge. If you wanted to, you could see what happens if you do that sort of thing. With Lenormand, you do bounce around more. With Tarot, I tend to use the positions in this particular spread, but there's other ways of doing it. This is not the only way. Uh, lastly, advice, just to give you some examples here. We have the Four of Wands. It's about trying to graduate and do things and achieve and get to that point where you get recognition uh, and you can celebrate. It also can have to do with the home. This is about uh, sitting still. This may have to do with really stopping and spending some time focusing uh, as well. But also kind of sitting, stopping, smelling the flowers. Uh, and this also is saying don't focus so much on um, trying to celebrate or achieve something or a goal. It's almost like uh, enjoy the journey. It's not about the destination. And this person may be fearful about this because they're so concerned about the destination and achieving that nine that they're just not moving forward. Uh, this one right here, we have the Empress. It's funny because we got the Emperor and the Empress almost side by side, very significant. But with the Four of Wands being reversed, it's all the advice here, if we turn this into advice, it's telling us not what's happening, but what needs to happen. Birth, do something, gestate, work over time. And because the gestation is very slow, nine months, this could be something that's telling us just take it very slow, plan over a period of time. And this seems to validate it. So you get the Eight of Pentacles, building, structuring, going over and over and working. And this, even this Empress looks very focused right here. So structure, give birth, work one at a time, month, 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 set up a schedule, make sure you be organized. These kind of work together because this tells you what you're not doing, this is what you should do. And how perfect is this, um, these, this pair right here. You're not organizing, just give birth, go with the flow, um, try and feel more comfortable with it, nurture it. Lastly, the outcome. Remember, we had the Three of Swords, which seems so confusing because that's not the outcome we want. But if you look at it, what is that heartbreak about? What we have is the Eight of Pentacles. Interesting because that's the same card from a different deck as this right here. 
when the same card from two decks arrives, we've got like almost like a highlight underscoring something. So this is very important. And this could also be carryover from the advice to what they do in the future, and that's great. But the heartbreak is it seems like they're not doing this as much as they should, or there's something that they're concerned about, uh, and they may be frustrated at themselves and not being able to do it. With the fool, we have the beginner's mind. Take a risk, just jump and do little pieces. And this says at the outcome, they may start the process, um, but because we had this, they may have difficulty finishing it. Now, when you do a tower reading, you can establish how much time has gone by because um, outcome, there, there is no ending to your life until you're gone. So with my readings, I like to say these are three months, four months top. Usually it's about three months. So this person in a period of three months, probably won't get they want what they want done will only be starting it but this in at zero they haven't really been started very much but this does suggest that they love doing what they're doing so perhaps that slower pace is what they really need in order to get there because they, this last card is always kind of like the punctuation of the reading this is uh, the, the final say and it's a very important card just like the first one defines what it's about the last card defines kind of like this is the end of the reading that kind of sets the mood. Now, I also wonder, you know, what is that heartbreak specifically about? What are we talking about? And so I draw another card here and I get three of pentacles and it seems to be work related. So this doesn't seem to be so much about a relationship, but it seems like this person is trying to do something with work. Uh, they're trying to build. Maybe they even need to have a partnership and they're not able to find the right partner with the three of pentacles. So that can help you define too. So you can draw extra cards to help you clarify a specific card. Okay, so even if you didn't do all these cards and you got this as an outcome card and just the four cards, go right ahead and you can define it with another one and you can have the two cards talk to each other just like you would in say a Lenormand spread. So all in all, this person, what will happen with them, they will have a broken heart. Uh, because they feel like they're not getting to eight, they're frustrated, they're not able to do it. But what does happen is they start and they like what they're doing and that's a good thing. So they should perhaps not feel so frustrated with themselves um, because if we remember and we go back to the beginning, what's really happening, this is their situation is they're working toward a dream come true and enjoying themselves. So the crit criticism and self um, the, the self-criticism and, and not being happy, perhaps it's because they're not taking their time and they're expecting to move much too fast. So that's a way you can use just a four position spread and you can create more out of it. You can use it with any of your favorite spreads, one, two, or three positions even, just add more cards. And I would be really interested in hearing what you get in your readings. So I hope you have a wonderful tarot filled day.